Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. In this week's weekly wrap-up, I'm going to tell you everything that you missed on the channel over the last two weeks, since I missed one last week, and we're going to talk about whether or not I should even bother to keep doing these weekly wrap-ups. So let's go talk about it. Okay, minions, as usual, let's get right into it. Since my last weekly wrap-up, there's been quite a bit of content on the channel, so let's go ahead and get you guys some clips of it, and you can go and catch what you missed if you want to. Uh, the first video I posted since the last wrap-up was a gameplay for Hell Let Loose. Now, in the, <laughs> in the gameplay for this, um, I just kind of went raw into it. Like, I haven't done much research on Hell Let Loose, so I just... It came up as a free game on PlayStation Plus, so I just jumped into it with no knowledge of the game and tried to figure it out. So you get to go with me on my experience as I just kind of, in a game that doesn't really do a great job of explaining how it plays, unless you read like walls of text before you dive into a game, which I didn't do. Um, it, it's not as intuitive as many games. It's more, there's a larger strategy component to it than there is for most shooters. Um, but that said, it is still kind of a fun adventure, especially if you're familiar with the game, I would think. Watching me, completely ignorant of how the game works, figuring it out by trial and error, and spending a lot of time running through the woods <laughs> until I figure out the, the mechanics for squad spawning. Um, so I ended up, by the end of my few hours that I spent playing the game, uh, I ended up actually enjoying it, and I want to make some time to go back and play it some more. Um, but, yeah, I cut together a video. I'm not going to make you guys watch the entire experience, so I cut up the most entertaining parts into a video, as is my style. And here is a clip from that video, if you missed it. All right. We're almost, potentially, possibly, within visual range of something that we might be able to do something to or about. Did that bullet hit near me? Fuck. Can I drive this tank? Oh, thank god. Um, can I not drive? Am I- am I unable to drive? Are you fucking serious? Can you drive it? What, I'm not- I'm not qualified to drive this? What the fuck is this game? I think I may have just killed someone. Right in the head. So at this range, the slow ADS does suck. What is going on? Killed another guy. All right, after that, I posted a short from the Halo tech preview. Um, it is a short demonstrating my absolute ultimate sniper prowess. Um, and I just keep, YouTube is pushing shorts so hard that I get ridiculous view spikes um, from shorts. If you're here from a short, welcome. I'm glad that it got you. But in general, those are mostly disposable views. People see my less than one minute video and then move on with their lives. But uh, if any of you have seen my short and decided to stick around, welcome. I'm glad that you stayed. And here is my ultimate Sniper skill Halo short in its entirety, just for you. Your team is close to total control. Yeah, just give me that. Captured a zone. New zone? What? I suck. I am a rotten sniper. Got the pickup. Come on, where are you? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Incredible performance. I'm amazing! Right in the ankle! 
An ally has captured a zone. An ally's right in the face balls. <laughs> they can't stop you. I'm so amazing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm amazing. Okay, so clearly you can tell I'm the best sniper ever, so look forward to more Halo content when that comes out in December. I even reinstalled the Master Chief collection literally yesterday, so I'm thinking about jumping back into like some Halo 3 or some Reach or something like that. Who knows? Maybe there'll be some Halo content before before Infinite comes out. Um, after that, I did a Battlefield beta video where I uh, put together some of my best clips and then talked about my opinions of the beta long story short even though you, you know obviously you guys i'm sure you've heard there's a lot of roughness around the beta and i'm sure you've heard the plethora of people bitching and moaning and complaining about whether or not specialists are going to ruin the game or blah, blah 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 i am i loved the beta i thought it was a very solid view at what the full game is going to be and that it was a ton of fun and i am super hyped for the full game even if they don't fix all the issues, it's just going to be a really great game. So I'm looking forward to it. I did a video about it. If you want to hear my thoughts, some positivity instead of all the negativity about there, out there about 2042 right now, go check that video out. Here's a clip of it. And Battlefield feels really good. The movement feels very modern and fluid and nimble. You don't feel bulky and it's just, it feels really good. Um, which leads into the gunplay, which... I remembered playing during there. My initial impression of the gunplay was a little weird because there's significantly less, from a controller perspective, um, not really an issue for keyboard and mouse players, but from a controller perspective, it felt like there was significantly less aim assist than there has been in previous Battlefield titles, um, where it's usually just a little bit of guidance to kind of help keep you on target tracking moving players. Um, it feels like there's almost none of that, if not actually none of that, in uh, Battlefield 2042, which was initially a little strange, but when you adjusted to it, it made the gunplay feel very satisfying. It made you feel like you were actually shooting the person. And as someone who's got a lot of experience on the controller, it wasn't really that hard to kind of pick up and, and do that. And one thing it really did is it made the range of the weapons actually matter. You couldn't really rely on the game helping you track weapons to use something like an SMG or an assault rifle beyond the range that it's effective at, the recoil actually mattered. Um, so you had to kind of stay in the ranges where they were effective. Um, uh, an assault. Okay. After that, I posted a video of a big team battle uh, from Halo Infinite. So they did two parts to the tech preview. Um, the second weekend, they added big team battle. So I spent some time in there. I did. What is kind of a tradition for me is my first couple of games of Big Team Battle that I jumped into, I just live commentated them, posted them, you know, pretty raw. Um, I think, I, you know, I try to cut out like the slow sections, I think, but post them pretty much uh, raw as they happened so you guys can kind of see the unfiltered raw new experience uh, of a game uh, or a game mode in this case. So here is a clip from Halo Infinite Big Team Battle. All right. I'll take that. Right in the ankle. You suck. <laughs> <clears throat> Murdered in the ankle bone. Oh my god, that was fantastic. <laughs> the heat wave was amazing. <laughs> that guy just literally get melted. Did it drop a sniper? Oh, a gra gravity hammer. This is not the right map for that. Just easy BR shots on that. Easy, easy. You want to jump in there too? Thank you. I mean, if they're going to have weird spawns and strange cover, BR. Berber, baby. Take another one. He dead. Yeah! Alright! We'll come back. I'm gonna take full responsibility for that victory. 
yeah, definitely go check that one out. I was at first very unsure about the kind of reimagining of Blood Gulch, that map. What do they? I forget. I forget now what they called it. <laughs> but um, I actually ended up by the end of the tech preview really liking what they'd done with it. It created a lot of great areas. Anyway, go check that video out. After that, I posted a Battlefield 2042 beta video. It's kind of a new style um, that I tried out, and I'm going to be posting another one soon, where I posted Attack Chopper gameplay, some clips of my best, uh, specifically Apache uh, Attack Chopper gameplay from my time during the beta. Just put some of the Battlefield 2042 soundtrack over it. Uh, just let the footage kind of speak for itself. And uh, I think it turned out quite be like fun and enjoyable and beautiful to watch, even though, and maybe better for you you don't have to listen to me yap during the whole thing um so here's a clip from that and go check it out and leave some feedback on if you like this style of video Okay, after that, I posted another short, which was also demonstrating my amazing, incredible sniper skills. Um, from This one's from Battlefield 2042, um, and it's two clips that I got uh, from, let's call them decent snipes. You're going to see the clip here in just a second, so I don't need to try and keep you in suspense. Um, but they were also correlated tightly with using the plus system in Battlefield 2042, which I'm really loving. So here is a full short that I posted of using the plus system and sniping in Battlefield 2042. Objective is under attack. I mean, I'm just the best sniper ever, right? Proof. I mean, I, I hit... You guys have seen two shorts now where I hit like five snipes. I must be the best. <laughs> okay, after that, the last thing since the last weekly wrap up, I posted a Halo Infinite gameplay where me and Ancap actually got to jump into a couple of matches together, play some Slayer. It was good fun. Those of you who've been around a while, <laughs> um, you'll know, and those of you who are new may not realize that this channel was started and built on me playing video games with my friends, just kind of the gameplay was also kind of equally as important as the fact that there was a live voice chat with me and the people I would play with. As adulting has occurred and growing up and people have split apart, I've lost the core of my gaming group that the channel started with, which is sad. Um, I am, as the channel is continuing to grow, trying to bring more people in so that I can find more people to play with. Ancap has been a loyal friend of the channel for a while, and whenever he and I have time in our adult lives with kids and partners and all that stuff to, uh, to play some games together, we do. It's always a good time. Uh, this video was uh, some of that, um, so it's enjoyable to watch. Good gameplay as well. Uh, and if you guys want a chance to play with me, 
Um, there's a link in every video for my Discord server. Hop on in. It's the best way to get a chance to, to hop in if I when Battlefield 2042 comes out, when Call of Duty Vanguard comes out, when Halo Infinite comes out. I'll probably just be posting in there randomly, hey, I'm going to jump into Battlefield. I'm going to jump into Halo. Who wants to play? Um, so if you guys want to play, have some fun, hit me up. Check out a clip from that video. And then go check out ANCAP's video, uh, channel. I'm going to link that down below too. All right. Just, just get to the clip already. Get to the clip already. There's a uh, cloaked guy. I kind of saw his predator shimmer. I don't, I don't know where he went. Where? But he was where, near my mark. Go, okay. kid. Hey, I actually got a kill with a commando. Fucking amazing. Oh god, better rifle. Yes. Oh, the easy one shot. Thank you, teammate. My wife is yelling at me to bring her something. <laughs> Damn it! I'm murdering people. At least I'm trying to murder people. Oh, why didn't that fire? <laughs> The enemy has captured Alpha. <laughs> Jesus. That guy was clueless. <laughs> I was like, I want to get a kill with this thing for once. Just walk up behind him. Just use a wet paper towel. <laughs> Thought you were talking about me like killing the enemy. I'm like, it might work. It's just crazy enough. I'm in the middle enough. of something. Don't throw your grenade at me! Ow, I walked right into that. How the shit. No way I lost that! I can't believe it. I choked my BR shot so hard. Okay, so this is already, just because of all the clips, probably longer than most of my weekly wrap-up videos, including the topic I usually discover, discover, discuss, at the end. Um... I was thinking about what topic I want to discuss for the weekly wrap-up this week, and I was like, I don't really have anything to talk about. I don't want to force it. Do I just not make the weekly wrap-up video? And then I thought, you know what? Of the content that I post, my weekly wrap-ups, I kind of like as a, as a way of just like kind of summing things up. But with my audience still small and kind of growing, I'm not sure how much value it's providing to you guys. So I figured the topic we would discuss, and by discuss, I mean I'm going to ask you a question, and try and get your feedback. Probably won't get much. Don't have a whole lot of engagement on this channel. Part of the reason why I'm not sure if the weekly wrap-up is still worth it. Is it worth doing? You guys enjoy the weekly wrap-up? Or is it just like that video that comes up that you skip? <laughs> and that's okay. You, if, if that is the case for you, then you probably aren't watching this, which would kind of prove my point as well too. But if you want to engage, if you want to let me know, do you guys, is it worth having the weekly wrap-up? Otherwise, what I might do is put it on pause until the channel uh, gets more growth and the audience is large enough that engaging in a weekly wrap-up type discussion style video might get more engagement, might be more uh, productive. Um, so yeah, It'll leave me some feedback on that if you guys want. Check out all those videos if you've missed them. Join the Discord if you want to have some good times, and I will see you guys in the next video, weekly wrap-up. We'll see. <laughs>